to the installation of the Yakima Timberline Towers with silver aluminum jet stream bars for vehicles with factory raised side rails. The jet stream bars are Yakima's high end model and is one of the quietest bars on the market. The Timberline rack has a load capacity of 165 pounds on most factory rails depending on the manufacturer's rating. Begin by removing the cover from the Timberline tower. Simply pinch the grip points simultaneously and pull off the cover. Next, loosen the upper inner screw about 8 to 10 times. Now loosen the strap screw. This will require up to 100 turns to fully reveal the screw underneath used to attach the jet stream adapter. With the strap loose, attach the seat from the jet stream kit. Put one side in at an angle and snap the other side into place. You should hear an audible click. Line up the thread on the jet stream adapter to the screw and hold it in place with your finger. Turn the tower around and thread the screw underneath completely until the handle on the wrench clicks multiple times in a row. The metal adapter should line up evenly with the ends on the seat. Next, remove the bottom rubber strip from the jet stream bar completely. Once all four towers are set up, slide them onto the bottom slot of the jet stream bars. The rubber can sometimes get caught on the end of the bar, simply push it in as you slide the tower on. Now you are ready to attach the bars to the roof. Start by centering the tower on the raised rail and using the hash mark in the middle of the towers as a reference point. Then make sure the bars are even on both sides. Once measured, tighten up the inner bolt until the wrench handle clicks multiple times. This may require up to 10 to 15 turns. With the towers now properly set, take them off the rails and reinsert the rubber strip. Push the strip into the slot from one end to the other. When you reach the other end, measure out the proper amount and cut off the excess. With the extra strip, fill in the outside part of the bar up to the semicircle cutout in the bar. Install the end cap into the bar. Be sure that the black tab is on the outside of the slot. With everything now put together, place the bars back on the roof and take the metal strap and wrap it under the rail and place the silver tabs into the bottom notch of the tower. Now take your wrench and tighten the strap screw to full torque until you hear the handle click multiple times. Be warned, this could take up to 100 turns in the use of both hands. It gets tiring. To place the cover back on, line up the pegs on the cover with the holes on the tower and slide into place. Additional lock cores may be purchased to lock the covers to the towers as well. With the front bar installed, repeat the same steps to attach the rear bar. Be sure to measure an equal distance on both sides so that the bars are parallel to each other. Thanks for watching the installation of the Yakima Timberline Towers with steel core bars. If you have any further questions, visit us at rackwarehouse.com or call us at 800-272. 5362. And always remember, we fit your lifestyle.